התפעל. בניין, התפעל. This בניין is, we can say, active and passive. We call it a reflexive בניין. Now, it is both active and passive at the same time. We'll give you an example that will help you understand it. In this example, the word is התכתב. That means he corresponded. This word we can say is both active and passive. Because in order to correspond, you need to write a letter and receive a letter. That is why it is active and passive at the same time. This binyan is special. Another important thing in this binyan is, once again, you can see the dot in the second letter of the root. We only have a dot, the dagesh, in the second letter of the root in the three binyanim that we've taught you. Piel, Pu'al, and Hitpa'el. This is the final binyan in which we have this dagesh in the second letter of the root. Also, in all of the conjugations of this binyan, we have two prefixes. Here, we're talking about the basic form of the verb in this specific example. In the basic form of the verb, the past singular masculine form, we have two prefixes with these vowel signs, the he and the taf, which gives us hit, and then the three letters of the root. Now, in every conjugation in this specific binyan, we will have two prefixes. The second prefix letter, the taf, will remain in all the conjugations. But the first prefix letter will change. It will not always be a hey. It will sometimes be a mem or a yud. Or a tough. But the rule is that we will always have two prefix letters before the root letters. And we will always have a dagesh in the second letter of the root. When we say reflexive, we mean that one does something on itself, on oneself. We also call this binyan cooperative. One does something with someone else, like to correspond in our example. If you would like to learn more about Hebrew grammar and how to recognize all the different forms of each verb, join our full online course, Hebrew Grammar Verbs Master Course, on Udemy. Link in the description. Good luck!